Hello everyone, welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about important MCQ on high risk pregnancies. This is part 1. For more important MCQ on nursing subjects, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Question number 1 Identify the danger signs in the antepartum period. Option A vaginal bleeding, B blood vision, C leaking amniotic fluid, D all of the above. Right answer is option D all of the above. All of the above mentioned are the danger signs in the antepartum period. Other than this, rapid increase in weight and high BP are also danger signs of antepartum period. Next question. The danger of convulsion in a woman with preeclampsia ends. Option A soon after delivery. B 12 hours after delivery. C 24 hours after delivery. D48 hours after delivery. Right answer is option D48 hours after delivery. The danger of convulsion in a woman with preeclampsia starts from the beginning of the labor and ends after 48 hours of delivery. Patient is closely monitored for next 48 hours for convulsions. Next question. Which of the following clinical presentation would a nurse expect while assessing a patient with abrasio placenta? Option A. Rigid broad-like abdomen. B. Edema in legs. C. Excessive vaginal bleeding. D. Premature rupture of membranes. Right answer is Option C. Excessive vaginal bleeding. Abrapsio placenta is the premature separation of a normally located placenta from the uterine wall that occurs before delivery of the fetus characterized by excessive vaginal bleeding, uterine tenderness, rapid contractions, abdominal pain and fetal heart rate abnormalities. Next question. Postpartum hemorrhage is loss of blood which is more than Option A 800 ml B 100 ml C 500 ml D 900 ml Right answer is Option C 500 ml Postpartum bleeding or postpartum hemorrhage is often defined as the loss of more than 500 ml blood within the first 24 hours following childbirth. Next question. Labor is termed as precipitate if total labor process completes within option A 1 hour B 2 hours, C 4 hours, D 5 hours. Right answer is option B 2 hours. A labor is called precipitate when the combined duration of the first and second stage is less than 2 hours. It is common in multipara and may be repetitive. Rapid expulsion is due to the combined effect of hyperactive uterine contractions associated with diminished soft tissue resistance. Next question. Which drug is used for the management of menorrhagia? Option A. Tranexamic acid B. Oral contraceptive pills C. NSAID D all of the above. Right answer is option D all of the above. 
the drugs used for management of menorrhagia may include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs such as ibuprofen it helps to reduce menstrual blood loss and relieves painful menstrual cramps tranexamic acid helps to reduce menstrual blood loss and only needs to be taken at the time of bleeding aside from providing birth control oral contraceptives can help to regulate menstrual cycles and reduce episodes of excessive or prolonged menstrual bleeding next question the nurse administers injection magnesium sulfate to a woman who is hospitalized with severe preeclampsia what medication would the nurse have available to counter magnesium sulfate toxicity option a sodium chloride b calcium gluconate c epinephrine d sodium bicarbonate right answer is option b calcium gluconate calcium gluconate is used for magnesium sulfate toxicity calcium antagonizes the toxic effect of magnesium and these ions electrically oppose each other at their sites of action next question in which of the following conditions lycor enters the maternal circulation causing sudden hypotension hypoxia dyspnea and often seizures option a amniotic fluid embolism b pulmonary embolism c obstetric shock d uterine atony right answer is option a amniotic fluid embolism amniotic fluid embolism is life threatening obstetric emergency amniotic fluid embolism is the escape of amniotic fluid into maternal circulation signs and symptoms of amniotic fluid embolism develop suddenly and quickly symptoms include shortness of breath or difficulty breathing sudden hypotension pulmonary edema abnormal heart rate fetal distress chills etc next question during pregnancy leukorrhea will increase because of the influence of option a estrogen b progesterone c oxytocin d prolactin right answer is option a estrogen increased estrogen during pregnancy leads to hyperplasia of vaginal mucosa which in turn increases the secretions by the endocervical gland next question the condition where the uterus turns inside out is known as option a retroversion b prolapse c antiversion d inversion right answer is option d inversion the condition where the uterus turns inside out is known as inversion uterine prolapse occurs when pelvic floor muscles and ligaments stretch and weaken and no longer provide enough support for the uterus antiversion of the uterus refers to the position of uterus where the long axis of the uterus is bent forward on the long axis of the vagina against the urinary bladder a retroverted uterus means the uterus is tilted backwards towards the rectum
So this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.